I'm going to show you how to make a real quick wedding present if you needed to or something for a rehearsal dinner or if you needed it for a reception and I'm just drawing a little bride on here and it's super simple it's just a sketch and it's two circles two lines and a triangle real easy and then you just kind of pull it down make the waist you make the dress you're gonna draw lines to make the dress full you're gonna make a couple arms that's easy peasy and you just do it. I painted this canvas black, but if you do it on a white canvas, you can just do it with a regular pencil. And now I'm going back and kind of defining the neck, making it a little smaller. But you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, just something a little simple. So two circles, two lines, and a triangle. And then you just do the skirt, it's easy. Grab a Posca pen or any paint pen and just outline it with the paint. I used white since I'm using a black canvas. Um, but you could do a white canvas and do a black outline, or you could use any color you wanted to. I just thought this would be a little neater, and I am drawing this really quickly. But like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just putting lines on the paper, and it's almost like a doodle. And you're gonna put them, just, you know, draw the skirt, fill in the hair just a little with the paint pen, and it's easy peasy. If I can do this, anybody can. We're just making her dress. All right, and there you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab acrylic paint and um, just a white acrylic paint and a small, I didn't even get a good brush. I just got a small brush and we're just gonna kind of dry brush for lack of a better way to put it the paint on there to just, you know, add some white on there and just make it look like it's a wedding dress. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just, you know, pull some drags down and fill in the, the bodice of the dress. And then you can fill in her hair. I, I'm sorry that that paint bottle is in the way. i pretty bad camera person. But just kind of just drag it around. It's so simple to do this. Anybody can do it. So after we do the white, I'm gonna fill it in and I'm gonna go down and drag it down to the bottom. I, if I had it to do over, I wouldn't do this part. Um, I did the sides and I don't like the way it made the sides look. But, you know, live and learn. This was the first one I did and this was just for example. But you can see that looks just really, it's not very um, defined, but it's still, it's really pretty. I'm going to grab a paint called Metallic Sand by Paint Pixie, and it is just a white metallic, and I'm going to add that now to give some shimmer to the dress. And just pull it through and do the same thing. And then I'm really going to add it to her bodice and to her hair. And again, you could do this in any colors you wanted to. This is just what I picked. I like the black with white on top. And I'm fuzzing up her hair just a little bit so it doesn't look like two circles anymore. It looks more like the back of a bride's head with a simple chignon bun. And then now I'm going to add just a little bit of a metallic pink, just a light metallic pink. But you could do this with any color. You could just pull that in to give it a little extra color in the dress, you know, just for fun. And this is something where if you knew the bride had different colored bridesmaid dresses, you could add that color to just kind of add a little hint. And then if you notice up to the top on the um, side there, you could, you could personalize this. You could put the bride's name or you could put the bride and the groom's name. You could put the date. You could put their new last name, whatever. And they could use this as a tabletop decoration. Do a little splatter on it too, because I just love the way a little splatter looks on something. It just kind of makes it look more fun. And then I'm gonna dry it, <laughs> and I'm gonna, um, I'm not gonna make y'all watch that, but then I'm gonna cut just a little piece of a bling wrap and put a belt on the dress, and it's in a rose gold, so it matches the pink that I added, and it kind of goes with the shimmer of the splatter too. We're just gonna glue that on there. And then you've got a cute little 
wedding gift. If you want to just, you know, make something for somebody. And like I said, they could use it at um, their reception or they could use it on the guest table. Just whatever. It's just a, a little something, something. So there you go. Easy peasy. Like I said, if I can do it, you can do it. Don't forget to sign it. Make sure you get a pen that works because that first one, I just bought it and it still didn't work. But there you go. Easy.